Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants. And hello again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon here in the booth. And, Chuck, you take a look at this matchup. I don't know if it's going to be one in the trenches from the quarterbacks out, whatever. It's going to be a good game. Oh, without a doubt. I can't wait to see the big fellas have an impact. We're always spotlighting those wide receivers and quarterbacks and running backs and even the defensive backs. But the big guys, I can't wait to see which one tilts the balance for their team. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. On the return, here's a speedy Jamison Crowder. Oh, what a move. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State. The former Spartan, it's Kirk Cousins. Forget the measurables. His temperament, which is so even keeled, often masks a burning desire to win and perform. This guy takes it seriously when he lines up to play, and usually he puts on a nice performance. The first carry now for Rob Kelly. A gain of three, second down. First offensive series forthcoming, Deshaun Jackson, wide receiver that certainly needs no introduction in this league. He's truly one of those don't blink guys because as soon as you do, he's past you and in the end zone and doesn't mind letting you know about it too. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Over the middle to Garcon. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now let's go, three and up. A first down throw for Cousins. This one complete to Niles Paul. It'll go as a gain of 12. And that leads to a Washington first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. All right, here we go. Boom, landing. Boom. On the run, it's Kelly. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. The defense won that play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. Right side caught by Jackson. That catch good for five. It's third down. Charles, for the Giants' defense here, looking forward to next season, what do they need to improve and where are they solid? I think that they'll want to continue to get better at the linebacker position. I think they want to add another pass rusher because Olivier Vernon, who was a free agent pickup in 2016, did a tremendous job coming off the edge. I thought they really shored up the interior with Damon Harrison, a defensive tackle. Landon Collins played at an MVP level on the defensive side of the ball as safety, and Janoris Jenkins became an eraser out on the corner. Cousins now, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. When you hear screen, screen, screen on defense, that's a little bit scary because you know a big play might result. He was so ready to get to part two of the screen, he forgot part one, couldn't get the ball. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Back deep, it's Odell Beckham. Yeah, this one's going toward the sideline. They'll try to play keep away from Beckham. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. 
As the Giants take the field, we focus in on Eli Manning. Turned 36 back on January 3rd. He's closing in on 50,000 career passing yards and pending health. Hopefully he'll be healthy. He should hit that 50K mark around midseason 2017. Durable and extremely level. And I think back to when he first came into the league and people were, you know, dinging him for not having more emotion right, when right, they watched right. him play. Well, that so-called lack of emotion is really good for a football team, really good for an offense. And Eli Manning, 211 straight starts and still doing it his way, which is quite good. Offensively, the starters for the New York Giants and one guy that's definitely hoping to stay on the field more this year, Victor Cruz. And they would love to have him on the field. Just six games played over the last two seasons, starting with that horrific knee injury. And then he came back last year, had a calf injury that sidelined him for most of the season. He's trying to get back in form, and the Giants would love to see that. They run again with Jennings. Stays on his feet, and he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run and it was stopped by a second level player. So not much to speak of scoring wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and it's the Giants with a football here as we begin quarter number.